wearing streetwear was always, you know, made me feel comfortable. Just wearing like, you know, dope ass clothes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Samantha Cox Para for Cal TV Music, here with hyphy fashion designer and owner of the Backwards Company, Brian. So, what was it that drew you to hyphy music? What did you? What do you find exciting about it? Just the the culture, like I was saying, like you know, it it made me feel you know like I belong somewhere with like the creativity behind it, um, and you know the music just sounds hella good, you know. So, what are some of your favorite hypey songs? Oh, damn. Um, let's see. Probably uh, Feeling Myself, uh, Get Stupid, Since 84, Tell Me When to Go. Those are just like, you know, the major, you know, hypey songs. Uh, I probably fuck with, you know, like all the pack music, vans in my car. Just all kinds of, you know, different Bay Area culture, you know, different different music. So what was it that made you decide to create your own clothing company? Creativity through clothing. It was something that just really drew to me. Pink Dolphin, Rare Panther, uh, Rocket. Um, just all the major companies. I guess Diamond, Supreme, Bape. There's all kinds of, you know, different companies that... I don't know, I think they they influence me all differently. Awesome. Okay, so you mentioned earlier the hypey movement was also a social movement. And with that, talking about kind of like the politics of the community and things going on, you have a shirt that is called To Serve and Protect. Can you give a little bit of background about it? About like how it was made? Um, well, that situation was something that um, happened in Vallejo. It was... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it happened right across the crest, and I don't know, it was just something that I thought was handled really inappropriate, you know, the way the way the cop treated, you know, that, that citizen, you know, by, you know, using police brutality in the purest form, you know, beating that guy yeah. so hard, and I mean, yeah, I just thought it was... It was inappropriate and wrong the way he handled the situation. So, and it happened, you know, so close to home that I feel like it was almost necessary to put it on a shirt. So, what was your personal experience like growing up in the Bay Area? With all these different culture movements, you know, they made me feel comfortable with myself. It's given me the opportunity to embrace it through clothing. I used to always draw growing up, so. I wanted to use that towards something and I put it towards clothing. So in your clothing, there's also a lot of references to different Bay Area sports teams. I'm wondering, like, Draymond Green and, like, Steph Curry and all these guys, like, especially Marshawn Lynch when he went, like, hyphy on the sidelines recently. Why do you, why are you connecting sports with hyphy fashion? The Marshawn situation, I think, He's just using, using, you know, the movements and like the the culture. He's just embracing it mm -hmm. through sports, and uh, he's you know taking advantage of all the things that's happened in his community and putting it towards the sidelines, just going crazy, having fun. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So, thank you for taking the time to interview with me. And I brought you and your cameraman friend some Cal TV lighters. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, can we get a Go Bears on three? Okay. One, two, three. Go Bears!